Hi, this is Ron, the Easy ABS Repair Guy. Today I'm going to share with you some of the secrets I have learned in my many years of repairing ABS plastic. I hope you find this video informative and that it will help you in your projects. As promised, this video will showcase some of my shop secrets. We will build a pattern replicator to match textures to textured surfaces such as dash pads, fender skirts, and other interior trim. I will then introduce you to a product that can remove tape, stickers, silicone, and remove all adhesive residues without damaging the surface. We will build a stand to hold easy ABS bottles for easy use. I will show you how to make molds to duplicate small parts. And lastly, we will use heat to make the ABS sheets pliable and form them to curves. When repairing surfaces with a texture, you need to make a pattern replicator. To do this, I took two pieces of ABS sheet and welded them together in a T formation using my Easy ABS Repair Resin. I then rubbed oil on the surface to be copied. After the T handle was cured, I put a two inch by half inch thick puddle of silicone sealant on the oiled surface. I pressed the handle into the silicone and made the edges come up over the flat part of the handle. I let the silicone set up for four days as it was slow to harden because of the oil reducing the surface area exposed to the air. After removing the silicone from the oiled surface, I let it set up for a few more days. I now have a pattern replicator for textured ABS. Fill the area to be repaired with easy ABS resin and remove the excess with a body filler spatula. While the resin is wet, oil the pattern replicator and press it onto the resin. The pattern will transfer to the resin and make a perfect patch on the textured surface. I will be using this same pattern replicator to match the texture on some of the RV fender skirts I am repairing for the next video. The next shop secret is a product called Rapid Remover. This is a semi-oily, water-soluble, non-toxic liquid for removing vinyl graphic glue residue. If you do a Google search for sign making supplies, you may be able to find it locally. You can also order it from Amazon. I source mine from TCT Graphic Products. They have three Canadian offices and take online orders. However, they do not ship outside of Canada. If you look on the tips and links page under repairs, I have posted a link to the TCT web page. It is available in many sizes from 4 ounces to 5 gallons. It will not damage surfaces and removes any glue residue. I have used it to remove the residue left when removing graphics from travel trailers. It congeals the glue residue and makes it easy to scrape off. While replacing graphics on an RV, I found that it also removes silicone sealant very well. It also does a great job on removing tar and tree sap. In this application, I used it to remove duct tape and the glue residue from this RV fender skirt. The RV owner had used duct tape to hold the damaged fender skirt in place until he got the RV home. By the time the fender skirt came to me, the duct tape was old and dried onto the skirt. I put the rapid remover into a spray bottle and spray it onto the duct tape. It loosens the tape and fibers and makes it easy to remove from the fender skirt. I continue to spray the rapid remover and very carefully using a metal putty knife, remove the glue. Finally using a rag or paper towel to clean up the fender skirt. Before doing any further repair, I clean the area using Windex to remove the oily residue. Working in the shop on multiple projects, being able to grab a bottle of resin ready to go makes the re repair easier. 
When you set a bottle down on its base, the resin settles to the bottom and you have to shake it to get the resin back to the spout. I drilled a few holes in a small piece of 2x4 and leave the bottles in an inverted position. This keeps the resin ready to go and the air space in the bottom of the bottle. Using this method will allow you to completely empty the bottle. Remember to keep the red cap on the spout or the resin will flow out and make a mess. When your repair is complete, make sure you take the application spout and put the white seal cap back on to maintain the shelf life. The resin does not stick to the spout and will pop out when you need to use it again. Motorcycle side covers are held in place with round bullet shaped tabs. These tabs pop into a rubber grommet on the frame of the bike. The tabs often break off and cause the side cover to blow off in the wind and are lost. This happened to me on several occasions and several different bikes. I decided I wanted to make a replacement tab to fix my side covers. I made a brick sized silicone mold of the only two styles of tabs I could find. I filled the molds with easy ABS repair resin and smoothed out the surface and pressed the resin into the mold holes. I then placed the mold into a paint pressure pot and aired up to about 40 psi. The air pressure forces the resin into the mold holes and forces any air bubbles out. I keep the mold under pressure for several days. When removed, the tabs are perfectly molded and easy to pop out of the mold. A little base cleanup and they are ready to replace missing side cover tabs. We also make side cover tether kits. You bond a flat tab with a ring on the inside of the side cover and loop a small lanyard through a frame member. The lanyard has a clip you snap onto the ring and if the side cover comes loose, you don't lose it. This is a close up of a broken fastening mount on an RV fender skirt. Every mount was broken out and badly damaged. There will be a large amount of work required to fix the damage. These fender skirts are no longer available so our only option is to repair them. I will need to use heat to make the strips of ABS material pliable and bend them to fit the repair. Because there are so many of them to repair, 20 in total, I am going to make a bending jig. Using a 4 inch square of plywood I cut the jig out. The two pieces fit together with a space for the ABS strip. I heat the ABS with a torch, insert the plastic and press it in with the other side of the jig. The ABS cools quickly and can be removed in a minute or so. The bent piece will hold its shape and fit perfectly into the repair. This heating method will only work on small pieces like I am using for this repair. I use a toaster oven for larger pieces. Hot air guns or large torches will not heat the larger pieces evenly and they will not bend properly. In this case I used the jig to, to produce 20 identical ABS loops. These loops fit perfectly around the damaged fastening points. After a little trimming they are ready to weld into place. The easy ABS repair resin fills any spaces and welds the loops into place around the damage. When cured I add a fitted piece of ABS at the back side of the loop. When welded in place and a hole drilled will give every fastening point an extremely sturdy anchor that will not break again. This is the toaster oven I use to heat larger pieces. Check often and do not use too high a heat. If heated too long the plastic bubbles and is not usable. The sheet becomes as pliable as a sheet of paper and can follow the curve of anything you are repairing. Do not forget gloves as the plastic gets very hot. That's it for my shop secrets for now. If you run into challenging repairs, do not hesitate to call my toll-free number shown on the screen. I am always ready to help in any way I can. 
If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and you will get updates as we add new videos. Our repair kits can be ordered online from easyabsrepair.com.